What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video. In today's video, we'll be covering a task two speaking question, which can be found under TPO number four. All right, there's the reading passage, which is a announcement. So let's look at it together. Evening computer classes may be added. That's the title and it says computer classes, right? The first sentence says, the computer department is considering offering evening classes in the fall. So the beginning sentence should be, offer evening classes in the fall, but let's be careful and mention the word computer so that we are specific. Now, if you just say the university is planning to offer evening classes in the fall, then that would imply that any and all subjects are now available at night, but that's not true. It's just the computer classes, so make sure you add this. All right, now let's keep looking at the passage to find the suitable information for the ending statement, which for an announcement has to be the advantage, the upside or the benefit of the new plan. The proposal to add the class is a response. Okay, it's not an upside, it's a response. If anything, it's a reason. I'm gonna skip that sentence. The department has decided that despite some added expense, all right, that doesn't seem like it's leading to an upside. It's like, a, it's like an excuse for the added expense. I'm gonna skip it. It is hoped that this change will decrease the number of students enrolled in day classes. Now, although that is a benefit, it's nothing special. Okay, you're opening evening classes, so hopefully people who are taking the day classes start slowly trickling down to evening classes to take advantage of a better student to teacher ratio. Yeah, that's, that's fine and everything, but the second advantage and thus guarantee individual access to computers for all students that's much more special and much more as it has a bigger impact. So I'm going to pick that for the ending statement. So if the main character doesn't like the announcement, I'm going to say, even though the school believes that this decision will guarantee individual access to computers for all students, the man opposes the university's new plan. All right. So at the test, you could have said either decrease the number of students enrolled in day classes or the detail that I'm seeing right now, but I personally believe that this is the better information to mention, okay? But no pressure. As long as you speak fluently and say something that's not completely off topic, you're good to go. All right, let's listen to the conversation. I just don't think this will work. Why not? Because it's not gonna solve the problem. Students are busy at night. I mean, we have jobs, families, clubs, social events. Most of us already have something to do every single night of the week. I see your point. I sure couldn't fit anything into my schedule during the week. I've got swimming practice most nights. Right. And as far as expense goes, I think they're going about it the wrong way. I mean, it costs money to hire more teachers and keep the academic building open later, which is a lot more expensive than just simply buying more computers. More computers? That's right. Computer prices have come way down the past few years, so the department won't have to spend as much now as they did in the past. Besides, the computer department classrooms, you know, the rooms themselves, they're actually very big. There's plenty of space to add more computers. The computer department is considering a scheduling change. Explain the man's opinion of the change and the reasons he gives for holding that opinion. Okie dokie. So in this conversation, the man was the main character and he does not like the idea of opening evening computer classes. And the first reason he said, students are very busy at night because of their jobs, clubs, and other social events. As a result, most students will not be able to fit, what would it be? evening computer classes into their schedules. Now the second reason the man said, it costs more money to hire more professors and keep the academic buildings open at night. Needless to say, buying more computers would be much cheaper and there's actually plenty of space to add more computers where in the computer classrooms. All right, simple enough. I think there are only four sentences put together in this response. So I'm talking about the conversations information and excluding the template and readings information, okay? Because this is what you guys are all worried about anyways, right? One, two, three, four, just four sentences. Let's see how it works out. According to the announcement, the university is planning to offer evening computer classes in the fall. However, the man is not looking forward to this. 
First and foremost, the man mentioned that a large number of students are really busy at night because of their jobs, clubs, and other social events. As a result, most students on campus will not be able to fit evening computer classes into their schedules. On top of this, the man also said that it costs much more money to hire more professors and to keep the academic buildings open at night. Needless to say, buying more computers would be much cheaper and there's actually plenty of space to add more computers in the computer classrooms. Even though the school believes that this decision will guarantee individual access to computers for all students, the man opposes the university's new plan for these two reasons mentioned in the conversation. All right, let's be honest, that, that was pretty perfect. One, two, three, four, that's all you need. Um, you may need to spice up the sentences here and there with a few adverbs to make the details sound even more convincing than the way the man put it together. And uh, please listen to my sample response multiple times, turn on the captions, turn on the subtitles if you need to, and uh, study the way I spiced up the response because that's where the secret lies. Well, I mean, it's one of the secrets. The other really important secret is the way you speak, how you uh, convey the message and how you pace yourself because the way you speak is actually much more important than the words you say. Keep that in mind, okay? All right, that was the question I wanted to cover today. That was my sample response. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, share the content, but most importantly, if you are a self-disciplined and dedicated person, reach out to me about my tutoring services. Let's get the job done and the score you need and deserve in 2020 when everything gets back to normal. Peace.